Hi, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for being here. Can you believe it? <sighs> I'm having a baby. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be a mummy. <sighs> <laughs> and it feels really strange to be talking to the camera and like saying it because it's not a secret anymore. I'm allowed to say it out loud to you guys. And it, oh, it's so nice. Oh, this is the first trimester vlog. So I have tried to record bits and bobs here and there, not too, too much. Um, I've been really, really present, if I'm completely honest, and just making my way through the first trimester. Um, but I recorded little snippets. So I thought I'd share what I got with you. Um, and just have a chat about the first trimester um, and how I experienced it, signs, symptoms, all that jazz, all the baby stuff. I do just want to jump in and say I understand that um, this subject can be a little bit upsetting for people. Um, so completely understand if you don't want to watch any pregnancy related vlogs of mine or videos or anything like this, completely understand it. You've got to do what's best for you. Or also you might just not enjoy stuff like that and that's absolutely fine it's not for everybody um you think about yourself it's absolutely fine just know that i'm sending you all my love and positive thoughts your way <laughs> i've said that in all of the baby vlogs baby related vlogs just because i want to put a little bit of a disclaimer in there just because i don't want anyone i don't want to think of me ever upsetting anybody um so i just wanted to put it out there just know that i completely understand it's absolutely fine um but yeah okay first trimester so let me talk about um how i figured out i was pregnant other than the pregnancy tests which was the the telltale signs um but basically i was due on my period anyway and usually I am quite clockworky um, on the dot. I've not been on the pill for a good few years now, not because we've been trying for a baby, just because it didn't really suit me, if I'm completely honest. It made me feel not very good. Um, so I haven't been on it. We've just been using condoms over the years. Um, and we decided in October last year um, literally when we got engaged that bear in mind we'd been talking about it for about a year um, so it wasn't like a spare of the moment thing but we we decided that we was going to start trying for a baby and it did happen really quick for us which I'm really 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 thankful for like I feel very blessed and lucky um, that, that it happened really fast um, and I was also very shocked <laughs> as you would have seen from me finding out I'm pregnant um, if you watch that video. Um, but yeah, literally, I obviously knew we was having unprotected sex. So I was a little bit more, hmm, could I be, could I not be? But it's, it's been, it's literally the first month. And I did have a period. So I had one period, but we'd only been trying for like, and I'd not been like doing it during the ovulation times. We just was having unprotected sex, basically. And I had a period. So I wasn't like, expecting anything because I, I know that there's only certain times you can get pregnant i know it can be really tricky um so then i had my period and then i worked out i, I googled because i know this sounds really rubbish but i don't really know to, much about ovulation which is so bad isn't it really I, and i don't think we've ever i personally haven't ever been taught about it at school which is rubbish when i think about it because like surely it's something we should know as women about our bodies. Um, so I didn't know, so I Googled all about ovulation and I did get some ovulation sticks. And I said to myself, oh, I'm not putting pressure on myself, but I do want to know when I'm ovulating just because I wondered. So I peed on the ovulation stick, sticks a couple of times and it came back when I wasn't and when it when I was. And we did have sex on them once when I was ovulating. <laughs> um, so then I started thinking, oh, my boobs hurt. I'm doing my period anyway. My boobs were hurting and I noticed that I was really, really emotional more so towards like things like Instagram reels, just daft things. I found that I was like getting like more upset over, like more emotional over certain videos, which I thought was strange, but I thought oh, I'm doing my period. 
but then my period didn't come um it, i was doing the wednesday or the thursday so it was two days late which isn't very much but like i said i'm usually like clockwork so then the saturday came and brad was off out doing some work so i was like i'm going to use this opportunity to take a pregnancy test without him here and look has it we're pregnant i'm pregnant which it's still a shock i'm 18 weeks right now and it's still a shock to me like literally i still i'm like what the hell i'm having a baby do you know what i mean <laughs> um, but yeah anyway i wrote a few things down um during the first trimester just because i knew i'd forget or and i just wanted to remember so at the very beginning i had tummy ache um like period pains um, so I was having them before I found out. So I did think, oh, I'm, I'm doing, I'm coming on my period. Um, and then throughout I had them. It must have just been like my uterus doing its thing. Um, but yeah, so I did have like tummy ache period, like pains. And then when I found out I was pregnant, I don't know if it was subconscious or I just genuinely was, but for about two weeks, I was absolutely starving. And I mean, starving. Um, like I just couldn't, I couldn't get enough food it was just ridiculous um, and I just felt a little bit tired just a little bit like I could have slept a bit more and struggled to wake up and I still feel like that if I'm completely honest I do feel like I could just have a line every morning but I can't because I've got to go to work um and then um then I went through a stage where I sometimes felt a little bit sick after I'd eaten um which was strange because I was so hungry and then I was like, oh, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit sick. But I was really lucky that I've not really experienced any morning sickness, sickness in general, because I know that morning sickness can happen any time of the day. Um, but I felt really lucky that I have touched wood. I don't think I get it now, but um, I've not really experienced it. So I've been so, so lucky. Um, another thing I noticed was I started feeling nauseous around week seven. And this continued all the way up until into my second trimester. Um, so I just felt like I was on a boat, like for for a large, like all the time. I felt like, you know when you've been on a boat all day or you've been on a boat and you get off and you're just a bit like wishy-washy. That's what I felt like. It was so strange. Like I didn't need to be sick, but I felt sick. Um, and then, um, And then it went on to, I felt really sick when I got hungry, um, but then when I ate, I felt really sick. So I was like, I'm hungry, I feel sick, let me eat. And then I ate, and then I'd feel sick, so I'd be like. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just felt sick a lot. I'd, like I said, I wasn't sick, I just felt a little bit. <laughs> and then I went through this stage, and I'm still going through this actually, where my stomach just feels, it's getting, I feel like I'm, it's getting better, but my stomach just all of a sudden just feels so uncomfortable whenever I eat. So like, it was like there just wasn't enough room for food inside my body, as well as this tiny little baby and all my other organs. It just was ridiculous. Like I just felt like so bloated and like I was going to pop basically. That's the best way to describe the feeling. And I get that a lot at the minute i'm still getting that and i get it in an evening and i don't know whether sorry to be crude but it might be that i'm not pooing enough maybe but then i don't know i really don't know but um that was happening a lot at the first round and it was really uncomfortable in an evening to go to bed and i just was like oh my gosh um so that was that was that um and then yeah I bloated at like the top of my stomach um so and i wrote so i'm week 11 today i feel tired not as nauseous today i could cry at everything every video that comes up is making me well up <laughs> that's just what I, what I wrote at week 11 um and then also cravings i would say oranges they were the one thing that even if i felt sick i was like I could eat an orange. Yeah, I could eat an orange. Um, and another thing I noticed was I've been really thirsty and that's continued into my second trimester, which I'm in now. I've been really thirsty, but especially in the first trimester and even into this one occasionally, my mouth feels like I've had so much salt and I'm so 
thirsty like I could drink and drink and drink but I just don't have enough room if that makes sense like I want to drink more and if I could keep on drinking I would but my stomach's like <sighs> like there's just not enough room <laughs> so that that is basically that's the first trimester <laughs> uh, for me but no to be fair I had a really I've got to say in the grand scheme of things I've been really 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 lucky and I'm really grateful for the first trimester that I had. Um, I wasn't necessarily that ill. I could still get out. Yeah, I didn't feel 100%, but I, I'm, I'm aware how bad some, some women have it. Um, so I think I was really, really lucky. And I just was really like making the most of like, knowing that I'm, I'm having a baby. And I just obviously, because we, we've been really happy about it, I'm just trying to focus on the positives and just I think with a really the first trimester you just really want to just get through it I think I'd say that's probably because I think everyone want I want we were looking forward to the scan um and I'll I'll, I'll include all of that or if, unless I've already included it obviously we were looking forward to the scan we were looking forward to everything um that came like a midwife appointment everything like that other than blood tests because if you don't know i have got a bit bit i have got a phobia of needles so it's not been <laughs> brad will say he was really proud of me because i did have my blood test but guys i'm a baby i'm a baby having a baby <sighs> i hate blood tests i hate needles i hate anything like it just oh, i can't but yeah, um, so yeah, that is the first trimester essentially summed up. Um, I will include all of the videos that I've got right now um, and then I will jump back to me chitter chattering for you just so that you can have a mixture of me talking and actual experiences that we, we had um, just to make it a little bit more entertaining rather than me just word vomiting at you it's the first of december <clears throat> my voice went it's the first of december friday morning and today it's the first day that i've woke up feeling a bit sick i can't not really you can't really see it it's, it's going a little bit i'm very shaky feel like I need sugar or something, food, but I went to bed hungry last night, even though I wasn't, I shouldn't have been hungry. I ate, woo, sour, I ate my dinner, which was plenty, the same amount as bread, and then a bit of cake. And then I got in bed and I took up an avocado with sriracha mayonnaise and spooned out the avocado. I needed something, but then I, it made me hungrier. But then I was like, it's 12 o'clock ready. They were ridiculous. Lesson learned because I feel like. <sighs> But then a bit sick at the same time. But nice. Try to see his breakfast. Thank you, Sue. We'll go, sister. See ya. Bye. Bye.
Hi. Hi guys. <laughs> it's the 10th of January 2024. And where are we? <laughs> we're at the hospital. I'm <laughs> he does. He's got a cold. Um, but we're at the hospital because in 10 minutes we have a scan. So we need to be going in really. But I just wanted to just document our before. Um, just because this is a nice memory. This is, we're going to hopefully touch wood if all goes well. Piece of wood. This piece yeah, this of piece of wood. wood. We're going to be seeing a healthy, happy 12 week baby. Mm. People um, will be like, you have a piece of wood in your car. <laughs> it's, a, it's an ice pop it's stick. It's an ice pop stick. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know where, where has that come from. That's you. That's got teeth marks in it from Charlie. I've not had that in the car. I've not had that in the car. It must have been in my pocket or something. I've got it Possibly, out. Yeah. But we're here, we're here for a scan. I'm 12 weeks tomorrow, so I'm 11 weeks, six days today. Mm -hmm. um, if that's, I mean, that's going off my period. They said they'll go off my actual, the scan, but yeah. I know my period. Like, I had it wrote down. Right. If you wrote it I down wrote it down, five, yeah. so I know. Um, but, right, we're going to go in. And you've gone touching it. You yeah, know. touching my notes. But, yeah, we're going to go in and we're going to go and see our baby. We're back. We have one healthy baby, baby and I am literally um, eleven weeks, six days. Exactly. Exactly. What you, we thought. Exactly what we thought. But we've got the scan pictures, so we're gonna look through. I mean, we've literally seen it on the screen, but um. <laughs> Oh, look. <laughs> cool. That's so cute. Look at his little knobs. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cute. We've come out for a celebratory lunch and a cup of tea. Have we? It's like two degrees last night. It's free. <laughs> But, oh my gosh, we're having a baby. <laughs> wow, these look so good. Delicious, nutritious. We picked up some chocolate cake and pistachio and orange cake from the calf. We couldn't eat it then when we were there. We was too full, but we bought it home. We are back home now. Um, so I went to my auntie Kath's house to tell her that we're having a baby because we've not told her yet. Um, and then we've been to my mum's house to show her the scan pictures. Then we rang my sister and showed her on FaceTime. And then later on, we're going to Brad's mum's house to show them the scan picture. But I'm really excited. So at the minute, my mum and stepdad now my sister and her partner now the, my niece and nephew don't know yet though because they would just tell everybody <laughs> um my brad's mum and dad now and who else knows auntie kath auntie kath knows so only only like the very immediate circle um and i am 12 weeks tomorrow and that's usually when like people will announce um i'm not too bothered about that i think i'll announce like in a few weeks maybe i want to make sure i've told everyone i love in person um and everyone who's really important i've seen in person um just because i want to see everyone's reaction um so we need to do the rounds and that will be I'm guessing that video might already have been up or be going up. I don't know because I, I think I'm going to share it. I feel like I'll let I'll ask everyone if they're okay with me put, posting their reaction. Um, but like I love watching back them little clips of our family finding out so far what we've got. So I think it'd be sentimental to. Where's my cake? Your cake is here, darling. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's been a really nice day, and it's just so surreal to think that there is. A five centimetre point something. Five. 52.7 centimetre. 52.7 centimetre no, baby. 5 centimetre. I'm going to say. Five, 50. That size two, baby inside my belly. And we saw it wiggle and everything. and everything. There's a fork there, darling. There you go. You got two of them. Yeah, I got two forks. The other ones down here. Um, yeah, just so strange to think that it's wiggling around in me and I can't feel it. That's the most bizarre thing. Like... I can't feel the baby wiggling in me. 
And it's wiggling in me. But you can't without wiggling inside you. Oh, Brad. <laughs> hey! Did you? It's always darker than me, don't you? Yeah, I'm liking the situation. It's, in very it's, already, it's all very light. Um, but yeah, literally, mm -hmm. just so exciting to think that part of me and you is oh, growing. You. It has a heartbeat. It. It's healthy. It's healthy. So far, what they can see yeah. is healthy. I just think. Baby, I just feel happy. Still don't feel real though. Does it feel real for you? Oh yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, it's but I've seen it, but it's real. weird because I, I, that's inside me. Yeah, it's kind of real. Like, it's real, but... It's kind of real. There's a human inside you, right? There's a human inside me. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're going to eat our cake. What is it? It's in mummy belly. This is my 12 week chai inspection. <laughs> baby bump. I am 12 weeks today by the day, literally, mm -hmm. on the dot. Chai, I'd like to say Chai is, is doing this because there's a baby in there, but Chai always rubs his nose on us. So, mm. uh, but yeah, this is what my 12 week um, pregnant body looks like. <laughs> I am going to end this one here, otherwise I'm going to be talking to you for forever. And this is just the first trimester. Um, the next one, I'll just update you on the second trimester and just do a bit of a like normal vlog for you all and bring you along on our weekend as we normally do. And of course, I will be doing through the pregnancy, just normal vlogs as well for the people who don't really want to watch pregnancy related videos. I get it. It's not for everybody. Um, and obviously after the baby's here we'll continue doing our life but we've got to understand that at the minute this baby is consuming mine and brad's life and when they're here they'll continue to do that um so there will always be maybe an element of baby but not in everything I, i'm aware i don't want to um i don't want to i don't want to show too much anyway of them i don't think um but yeah Thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope you're happy and healthy because you deserve to be. And I shall see you next Tuesday. Ooh, and now you know. Now you know. I'm having a baby. My snacks are right here. So I'm hungry all the time. All the time. I'm 18 weeks right now, have I said that? I don't know. But I'm hungry all the time. And snacks. A vital. But Chai's crying at me because we're about to go on a dog walk. So I need to go. I have said bye already. But goodbye. Thank you for being here. I love you. See ya. Hi, Brad. Hi. <laughs> How did you find the first trimester? It's quite, it, it's quite simple. I didn't, you, weren't, you weren't too bad other than wanting oranges and lemon water. <laughs> and then brushing your teeth. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Brushing your teeth, like, literally, like you say, the thought of you brushing your teeth made you wretch. Oh my god, I did forget to mention that. I did, um, I don't know how, because it's been the biggest one and it's continued into second trimester. Mm -hmm. Whenever I brush my teeth, not as much now, but I went through a real stage. Even the toothbrush just touching the front of my teeth. Not my tongue, just touching the front of my teeth. And it literally made me wretch. Mm -hmm. And then that retching would literally. You just throw it up. Just so I did throw up, but it wasn't because. But it wasn't because of morning sickness. It was because t teeth brushing my teeth is very sensitive. Sensitive, Hard. and even yeah, and even now, I'm 18 weeks. When I brush my teeth, I have to clench my fist, and I'm like, <sighs> like breathing through it because oh my god, it's foul. It is literally foul. Yeah. But back back to your experience. Yeah. Other than other than that wanted your, your back rubbing and you've obviously had aches and pains from your body changing but it's not really not really been an issue yeah i don't think so anyway yeah you've enjoyed it i could do this again <laughs> you're not doing it yeah i'm i'm experiencing it <laughs> do you think i've moaned or would you say i've been quite positive first trimester you've, not, you, you, you've got this like immature childish man it's not like <laughs> a, it's not like a whinge in a wine it's not like oh it's like a it's playful 
Yeah. And being dramatic, and then I'm, yeah. I laugh about it. Yeah, it's. But I, I I understand it's it's a lot for you to go through. So the least I can do is help. In where I can, if it's like half past twelve in mi middle at night, you want some lemon water and go and get you some lemon water, or mm -hmm. if you want some oranges, go and quick some oranges. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. But yeah. First trimester. And Zero to like, twelve weeks. Other than being inside and rubbing your back, or just being there for you, flushing the toilet when you're being sick, so you're not constantly looking at. Yeah. Yeah, just little things like that. But again, you do that if you weren't pregnant. So. Yeah. And you're ready to go on a walk, aren't you? It's like, come on, guys. Fish, Let's go. Hours. I'm gonna be a big brother, and I just want to go on a walk. <laughs> you want to go walkies? Yes. Come on then. I'm ready now. Let's go. I've kept you waiting long enough, haven't I? Yes.